Now we shall see what are prime auxiliaries, what are auxiliaries, and what are model auxiliary verbs. Let us see what are prime auxiliaries. Prime auxiliaries are be, to, and have. What are the prime auxiliaries? Prime auxiliaries are be, do, and have. So what are auxiliary verbs? Auxiliary verbs are am, is, are, was, were, has, had. So these are all auxiliaries. So prime auxiliaries, auxiliaries. So we call be, do, and have as prime auxiliaries. And am, is, are, was, were, has, had. These are called as auxiliaries. And what are models? Models are will, would, can, could, shall, should, may, might, must, need to are to so all these are called as model auxiliaries so these are prime auxiliaries these are auxiliary verbs that support the main verb and these are model auxiliaries if we discuss in detail let us see how do they function how do they function let us see i would like to give examples i am Eating an apple. I am eating an apple. So in this, the main verb is eating. In this sentence, main verb is eating, and am is the auxiliary or helping verb. So am is the auxiliary or helping verb. So it is helping the main verb in indicating the tense mood or framing the sentence. So eating is the main verb, am is the auxiliary verb. So what we have to understand here is an auxiliary verb supports the main verb in framing the sentence as well as it indicates the tense. I am eating an apple is in present continuous tense. So the usage of auxiliary verb indicates the tense and mood also. So coming to I am playing cricket. In this sentence playing is the main verb and am is the auxiliary verb. In this sentence playing is the main verb and am is the auxiliary verb. She is Singing a song. In this sentence, singing is the main verb and is is the auxiliary verb. In this sentence, singing is the main verb and is is the auxiliary verb. So, this is what we call as an auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb supports the main verb and it indicates the mood or voice or tense of the sentence. The mood or voice or tense of the sentence. Now coming to these auxiliaries. Which auxiliaries? Auxiliaries like am, is, are, was, were, have, has, had. So they, they support the main verb in framing the meaning and they also indicate the tense and mood. No doubt about that. So these auxiliary verbs can also be used independently without the main verb. Please keep this point. Am, is, are, was, were, have, has and had. These auxiliary verbs can also be used without a main verb. That means in sentences where there is no main verb, auxiliary verb acts as the main
main verb. Let me repeat again. In sentences where there is no main verb, auxiliary verb acts as the main verb. Because we cannot write a sentence without a verb. For example, I am a student. So do we find any main verb in this sentence? Absolutely no. In this sentence, there is no main verb. So what is the verb in this sentence? So if there is no main verb, can we call this sentence Without a verb? No. Definitely every sentence should have a verb. So in this sentence, auxiliary verb am. So though it is an auxiliary verb, it acts as the main verb in these kind of sentences. I am a student. So am becomes the verb. Am becomes the main verb. She is a singer. She is a singer. So in this sentence, is is the main verb. In this sentence, is is the main verb because we don't find any other main verbs in this sentence. So what we have to understand here is am, is, are, was, were, have, has and had. They can be used both as auxiliary verbs as well as main verbs. That is a very important point we have to understand. And is, are, was, were, have, has and had can be used independently even without a main verb. What are modal auxiliaries or modal verbs? What are modal auxiliaries or modal verbs? Let us see. Modal verbs or modal auxiliaries. Modal verbs are will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, must, Need to, have to, ought to, and used to. So all these are modal verbs. All these are modal verbs. Will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, must, need to, have to, ought to, and used to. All these are modal verbs. So why do we call them as modal verbs? What is the difference between an auxiliary verb and a modal verb? Modal verbs should be followed by a main verb. That is the most important point. A modal verb cannot be used independently without a main verb. A modal verb cannot be used independently without a main verb. A modal verb should definitely be followed with a main verb or else it cannot be used. If we see the examples, I can play volleyball. She should pass the exam. They will come tomorrow. So in all these sentences, modal verbs can, should, will are followed by a main verb. So a modal verb cannot be used without a main verb. So coming to the classification of verbs. Okay, now we have discussed auxiliary verbs and modal verbs. What is an auxiliary verb? An auxiliary verb supports the main verb in framing the sentence. It also indicates the tense 
and mood of the sentence it also represents the voice so what are prime auxiliaries prime auxiliaries are be do and have so what are other auxiliaries all other auxiliaries am is are was were have has had okay all these come under auxiliary and these are also auxiliaries what are auxiliaries will would can could may might so for our convenience we are dividing auxiliary verbs into two types again auxiliary verbs and modal auxiliaries so what is the basic difference between auxiliary verbs and modal auxiliaries auxiliary verbs can be used independently even without a main verb in sentences where there is no main verb auxiliary verb acts as the main verb whereas in the case of modal verbs modal verbs cannot be used independently without a main verb that means every modal verb will would shall should can could may might need to ought to have to must use it to all these modal verbs should be followed by a main verb this is about auxiliary verbs